Hello again. Workshop two is about how to run multiple input files in Abacus and saving the simulation files in their directory. We have three input files which are in three folders named these: 3D heat transfer in plate and by break analysis and job one. The job one simulation requires a subroutine that we must attach when we want to create the job. As we do not know the command that submit the job from an input file, we use the macro feature of Abacus. We run a random input file of a simulation from a directory. And see the macro file to find out the command of this action. This is the command that we need to use for this script. We also do this for a simulation that requires a subroutine file to see how to attach a subroutine to our job. Here we can see the user subroutine argument is filled by this line. First, we import all necessary modulus. The first three of these modulus are, as we said, must be at the beginning of each Abacus script to make the basic Abacus object accessible to the script. We copy all the first lines of the macro file and paste them into a new Python file. We added an import OS line. The OS module provides a portable way of using operating system dependent functionality. We need to use this module since we want to traverse the system files. The get input is used to extract a single input from a dialog box. The function opens a model dialog box with a text field preceded by the label specified. The user adds information into the text field or accepts the optional default value given in the text field. The get input function reads the data from the, the dialog box and closes it when the user presses the OK button. The slash t separator provides a tool tip for the dialog box. We use this function to prompt the user to enter the directory of the folder containing the folders in which the input file is located. Then we print the file directory in the CLI. For traversing between files, we use the walk method. The walk method generates the file names a direct in a directory tree by walking the tree either top down or bottom up. For each directory in, in the tree rooted at the directory top, including top itself, it yields a three tuple dear path which is a string of the path to the directory.
Dear names is a list of the names of the subdirectories in Dear Path, excluding dot and dot dot. Last one, file names, is a list of the names of the non-directory files in Dear Path. In Python, you can loop through every item of multiple li lists. Dears returns a list of folder names in the directory. We looped through it to get each folder names. We joined a directory path and a folder name to have a complete path to every subfolder in our main directory. Then here we change the working directory of the system in Abacus. because we want to save every simulation file in its own folder, not in the default temp directory. We now print the next directory here. Again, we should use the walk method to loop through each subfolder to retrieve the files contained within it. We loop through every file in the folder and with this if condition, we check whether our job has subroutine or not. Subroutines are a piece of code typically written in Fortran programming language. Hence, they have a file extension of .f90, .4 and .f. We check only .4 files because Abacus reads subroutines with only an extension of .4. If we have a Fortran file, then we use this block of code to find out what is our file. If it is a Fortran file, we assign it its directory to the sub underline dear variable. And if it is an input file, we assign it the name names underline input file variable. At last, we submit the job and make the code wait until the analysis is completed. Be careful that you should write these last lines as a statement for the last for loop. We run this script and wait until it is finished. We must enter the directory to the main folder here. This dialog box is the result of the get input function. You can see the file directories printed in the CLI. As in every iteration in subfolders, the working directory is changed. Now we are in the last work directory, that means we are in the last folder of the main folder. Thus, we can just see the result for the last simulation. Now, if you want to see the result for other simulations, you should change the work directory to the folder containing the ODB file.
All in all, in this workshop, we have learned to run multiple input files successively through by traversing the system files using a scripting. Thank you for watching this video. This is a small part of the Python scripting in a Bacchus training package. There is a lot more valuable information in other parts of this package that you can get on our website. We suggest you do your project by saving your time and getting basic training so that you don't get tired of Abacus errors.